Ahí no. I just went on a very routine Starbucks trip. Yep. I saw in the road this little thing. And then I saw it move, crawl and, and wiggle. I realized it was an animal. Good girl. We brought her home. I held her and her eyes were like shut. One of them was partially opened. She couldn't walk, she couldn't really crawl. We didn't realize how dirty she was until like we started actually cleaning her. It's all very scary. You're gonna be okay. And we didn't know if she was just gonna make it through the night. He had a vet appointment which was just like hey like i have no idea what i'm doing and and they like told us the very basic stuff they scheduled a consultation with us the next day initially we had tried calling the animal shelters here but due to covid none of them were taking intakes so we decided okay we're just gonna take this into our own hands couldn't let her go to someone who i couldn't trust we decided to keep her it took her a few weeks to acclimate and all the different feels and smells of a home versus the outdoors. I, I'm sure that was incredibly stressful. After four weeks, it started to get there. Five weeks, six weeks, she started to play a little bit. And then eight to 10 weeks was like, that's when it really came through who she was as a kitten. Oh, I see. You. See? She was able to come out and be social with the other animals. She's incredibly curious, friendly, and wants love all the time and attention, and will come and, you know, get in our faces when we first wake up. Yeah, she's definitely a big cuddle bug. The alarm goes off, she's at our heads. I feel like little, like little tiny boots on my back, and I'm like, Macchiato, it's too early. <laughs> Doris and her, they're definitely really close. They started really like accepting each other and Doris started to clean her and kind of welcome her into the pack. Macchiato did start to groom herself, but certainly not correctly. Doris has definitely taught her, I think, how to groom efficiently and like make sure she's fully clean. The way to play was a big part of this. She's taught her how to kind of deal with the dog. Any given day, the three of them are usually hanging out. You could say that Makoto was kind of like a beacon of light, especially right now during the pandemic where everything is so grim. She's a good part of our family. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs>